Alabama CDL Tanker Vehicles Test Question 1. Empty Trucks Have better traction when stopping than full trucks May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks Question 2. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. The truck will roll over. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Answer you will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 3. Altage means How fast the liquid tanks drain Liquid weight Allowance for expansion of liquid Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 4. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are Going uphill or downhill Driving against the wind Starting or stopping Answer Starting or stopping Question 5. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there Use control door stab braking Answer Use control door stab braking Question 6. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge Front to back Top to bottom Side to side Answer Side to side Question 7. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter Surge raises the wind drag of the truck It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move Answer it can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 8. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use only the emergency brakes Question 9. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 10. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on 
the legal weight limits. The amount the liquid will expend in transit. Both of the above factors. Answer. Both of the above factors. Question 11. Cytoside surge can cause a rollover, suspension system failure, overspeeding. Answer A rollover. Question 12. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds, the distance you can see ahead, the length of your vehicle. Answer The distance you can see ahead. Question 13. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Loading and unloading Answer Starting or stopping Question 14. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 15. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom. Side to side. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 16. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 17 when you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 18 the best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 19. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Loading and unloading Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Answer Starting or stopping Question 20. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side.
answer. Side to side. Question 21. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 22 How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 23. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it, speed up slightly, downshift twice, brake lightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 24. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason S. Liquid movement. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 25. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are Driving against the wind Starting or stopping Going uphill or downhill Answer Starting or stopping Question 26. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 27. You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Answer Some liquids expand more than others when they get warm. Question 28. Altage means How fast the liquid tanks drain Liquid weight Allowance for expansion of liquid Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 29. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 30. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your
air to fuel ratio. Distribution of weight. Water content. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 31. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 32. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 33. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 34. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Side to side. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 35. Liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called? Barriers, baffles, bulkheads. Answer. Bulkheads. Question 36. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve. Then, as you go through it, brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 37. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Liquid movement. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 38. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom. Front to back. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 39. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Top to bottom. Side to side. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 40. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. 
Question 41, you are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within. The distance you can see ahead. The length of your vehicle. The distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 42. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your air to fuel ratio, water content, distribution of weight. Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 43. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 44 what does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 45. You are driving on a clear night. You must dim your headlights from high to low. You should adjust your speed so that you can stop within the distance you can see ahead, the length of your vehicle, the distance you will travel in the next 15 seconds. Answer. The distance you can see ahead. Question 46. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Water content Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight. Question 47. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Always. Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Answer. Always. Question 48. You should be very cautious when driving smooth bore tankers, especially when you are going uphill or downhill, driving against the wind, starting or stopping. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 49. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. The truck will roll over. Answer. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Question 50. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Top to bottom. Front to back. 
Answer. Side to side. Question 51. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 52. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 53. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Air to fuel ratio Water content Distribution of weight Answer Distribution of weight Question 54 you should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Answer Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Question 55. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are Starting or stopping Going uphill or downhill Driving against the wind Answer Starting or stopping Question 56. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Water content Distribution of weight Air to fuel ratio Answer Distribution of weight Question 57. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use only the emergency brakes. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Use control door stab braking. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 58. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 59. You are driving a tanker truck. The front wheels begin to skid. Which of these is most likely to occur? The truck will roll over. You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. Liquid surge will pull the tank from the truck. Answer You will continue in a straight line and keep moving forward no matter how you steer. 
Question 60. Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Top to bottom. Side to side. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 61. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Barriers. Baffles. Answer. Baffles. Question 62. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Downshift twice. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 63. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 64. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 65. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge lets you turn corners tighter. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer. It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 66. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 67 Baffles in liquid cargo tanks do not usually prevent surge. Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 68. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Speed up slightly. Brake lightly. Downshift twice. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 69. When you unload the smaller tanks or a tank with bulkheads, be careful to check your Air to fuel ratio Distribution of weight Water content Answer Distribution of weight Question 70. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? 
It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 71. How would you expect the truck with the cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer there will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 72 Empty Trucks Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 73 You should know the outage needed for the liquids you carry because Tank baffles are not always legal with outage. Some of the heaviest liquids do not need any outage. Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Answer Some liquids expend more than others when they get warm. Question 74 When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 75. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 76 You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, loading and unloading, starting or stopping. Answer Starting or stopping. Question 77 which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 78. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Answer. Always. Question 79. Empty trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. 
may require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 80. Altage means Allowance for expansion of liquid How fast the liquid tanks drain Liquid weight Answer Allowance for expansion of liquid Question 81. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side-to-side -side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. There will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Answer there will be less front-to-back surge than there is for a tank. Question 82. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front-to-back. Top-to-bottom. Side-to-side. Answer. Side-to-side. Question 83. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Loading and unloading Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Answer Starting or stopping Question 84. Empty trucks Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 85. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Front to back. Top to bottom. Answer. Side to side. Question 86. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. Use only the emergency brakes. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 87. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are Loading and unloading Starting or stopping Hauling milk or other food products Answer Starting or stopping Question 88. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Downshift twice. Speed up slightly. Brake lightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Question 89. 
liquid tight separators between compartments inside tanks are called barriers, baffles, bulkheads. Answer Bulkheads. Question 90. An emergency forces you to stop your tanker quickly or crash. You should Use control door stab braking. Use only the emergency brakes. Lock the brakes with the pedal and hold it there. Answer Use control door stab braking. Question 91. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Bulkheads. Baffles. Barriers. Answer. Baffles. Question 92. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Only if the tank has baffles. Always. Never. Answer. Always. Question 93. Which of these statements about stopping distance and speed is true? You need about two times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Both of the above are true. Answer Wet roads can double stopping distance at any speed. Question 94. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Front to back. Top to bottom. Side to side. Answer. Side to side. Question 95. How would you expect a truck with a cargo tank that has baffles to handle on the road? The truck will handle the same as a tanker without baffles. There will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. The truck will seem heavier than it really is. Answer there will be less front to back surge than there is in a tanker without baffles. Question 96. You need to be very careful when driving smooth bore tankers. This is especially true when you are hauling milk or other food products, starting or stopping, loading and unloading. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 97. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 98. Empty trucks May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. Answer 
may require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 99. Side-to-side -side surge can cause Suspension system failure Overspeeding A rollover Answer A rollover Question 100. The liquid in a tank with baffles can still have what kind of surge? Side to side. Top to bottom. Front to back. Answer. Side to side. Question 101. Side to side surge can cause. A rollover. Suspension system failure. Overspeeding. Answer. A rollover. Question 102. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called? Barriers. Baffles. Bulkheads. Answer. Baffles. Question 103. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Uneven expansion. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 104. You should be very cautious when driving smooth port tankers, especially when you are starting or stopping, going uphill or downhill, driving against the wind. Answer. Starting or stopping. Question 105. When your cargo tank has baffles, what handling effect do you expect? There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. There will be a slower surge than quick surge. There will be less side to side surge than there is in a tank without baffles. Answer. There will be less front to back surge than there is for a tank. Question 106. When you load the small tanks of a cargo tank equipped with bulkheads, you should check the Distribution of weight Water content Air to fuel ratio Answer. Distribution of weight. Question 107. Altage means. Liquid weight. Allowance for expansion of liquid. How fast the liquid tanks drain. Answer. Allowance for expansion of liquid. Question 108. Hauling liquids in tankers requires special care for the following reason s. High center of gravity. Both of these answers are correct. Liquid movement. Answer. Both of these answers are correct. Question 109. What does liquid surge do to handling of a tanker? Surge raises the wind drag of the truck. 
It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Surge lets you turn corners tighter. Answer It can move the truck in the direction the liquid waves move. Question 110. The amount of liquid to load into a tank depends on The legal weight limits The amount the liquid will expand in transit Both of the above factors Answer Both of the above factors Question 111. When should the driver of a tanker that has lost its brakes use a truck escape ramp? Never. Always. Only if the tank has baffles. Answer. Always. Question 112. Hauling liquids in tank vehicles requires special care for two reasons. Uneven expansion. Extreme weight. Liquid movement. Answer. Liquid movement. Question 113. Empty trucks. Stop quicker when you use only the emergency or parking brake. May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Have better traction when stopping than full trucks. Answer May require a longer stopping distance than full trucks. Question 114. Liquid tide separators between compartments inside tanks are called Baffles Barriers Bulkheads Answer Bulkheads Question 115. Which of these statements about emergency steering and tankers is true? Use only the emergency brakes. A tanker is easier to counter steer than most vehicles. You should wrap your thumbs around the steering wheel before starting a quick steering movement. Answer Use only the emergency brakes. Question 116. Separators, with openings or holes in them, that are between compartments in a tank are called Bulkheads Baffles Barriers Answer Baffles Question 117. The best way to take a curve with a tanker is to slow to a safe speed before entering the curve, then, as you go through it. Downshift twice. Brake lightly. Speed up slightly. Answer. Speed up slightly. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.